It's been nine months since these two teams took on in the wild card series. A brewing rivalry, the upset. John trying to get his revenge today. The Bajas and the Bobcats from Ballman Yards. Welcome to another series here. We had opening day yesterday, but now we have the second series of the 2022 season. I'm Kerry Harry, and uh, we got a good one today, folks. I think this is going to be one of the better series of the whole season as we got the Bobcats and the Bajas playing here at Ballman Yards. The Bobcats, they have Reese Harris, Frank Griesbauer, Ethan Dewald, and Ethan Bailey. For the Bajas today, they got their full team. They got John Satrowski, Paul Noel, Will Hanig, Xavier Goodall, uh, Sean Deneen and John Noel. It's going to be a good series. Here's the tail of the tape from uh, last season. Um, these two, pretty even overall. I mean, you saw it in the wild card series last year. Uh, probably one of the best series we've ever seen. Um, some players trying to get their revenge today. Um, the starting pitching matchup will be Ethan Bailey taking on John Satrowski. Again, a rematch of that wild card series uh, from a year ago. So. I'm excited. Uh, let's get out of the field now for some pregame interviews. Hi, right, John. It's been almost a year since you guys got upset by these Bobcat boys. Uh, what is it going to take today to uh, get your revenge? Um, consistent pitching uh, is what really threw us off in the playoffs. Um, we're going to do that today. All right, first off, Reese, congratulations. Getting drafted by the Gators, MLW. That's big. Um, today, you're playing the Bajas. Um, obviously, you guys fell short in the World Series last year, so you're going to try to start off the season hot. But what's it going to take here to beat this Baja team who has been projected to uh, finish at the top of the standings at the end of the year? We just got to play the Bobcat way, you know. Swing for the fences, you know, try to throw strikes. The biggest thing we got to improve on from last year is our defense. So I feel like if we can eliminate the errors and eliminate the free bases that we give up on ground balls or on walks, I think we can be a pretty good team this year. So that's what it will take to win today, I think. Sounds good. Big series here from Ballman Yards. Let's get to it. Here we go. Bajas and Bobcats. Big series. Here we go. Got him. Ethan looking good in his first batter. One away. Fly ball right field. It is down. A base hit for John. Off the base of the wall. Base hit for John. His first hit for the Bajas this year. Got him. Dirty. Two down. John come to play. Got him. Ethan Bailey. Looking sharp. We're going into the bottom of the first. Yeah, if you get close, I usually shuffle to go. Drop ball back up the middle, and that is going to be a base hit for Frank. Starting off the season nicely, base hit. Just low. Got another one on here. First and second, Reese Harris coming to the plate. Got him, John. Comes back, gets the out. One away. Three, two, pitch. Just high, and the bases are now loaded. Center field, back wall, gone! The rookie goes yard in his second career at bat. Puts the Bajas on the board. Four to one. Big home run. Yo. Center field, back wall, gone! 
Yeah. Right, that's John to right. That's off the wall again. John gets two off the wall already. He's hitting hot. Swing and a miss. Got him. And that will end the inning. We're going to the bottom of the second. It is four to one. I'm not too worried. Ethan, another walk. Three walks today. Four. Another one on here. Ball coming in. Yeah, I can feel the gesture. Got him. Ball oh, efficient. Check him out. Got him. Back to back K's for Paul. Got him. 70. And that will end the inning. Last call for the Boz coming up. They need three. Shot in the left field. Frank fields it cleanly and he's safe. John runs under the porch, but he's safe. Base hit for John and that will bring up Will. An inside source told me that Will said he was going to hit three home runs today. Shot in the left field, back wall. See ya. A bomb for Will. <laughs> I hope you're right. Will Haining might be the best hitter in the league, folks. I said it before he came up. And it's four to three. Barely our cameraman Dominic says he wasn't even looking at the ball pretty so long. Got him. One away. Ethan Donald sack. Ground ball is short. Frank fields it. Got him. A great defensive play. And that will be the second out. John gets convinced play. Here we go. 0 2. Got him! And the Bobcats steal game one from the Bajas. Ethan battles back on the mound. Great hitting from both teams. A good game. Game one. Boss. Game two, come on. Welcome. Hello. Game two. It's, like, it's okay. I like the boss. There's a deep shot. Right field, way out of here. First bat of the game. Frank the tank. Ding dong, one nothing. Bobcats, holy bananas. I actually genuinely thought that hit the jump. There's Dewald, deep to center, gone. Four nothing, Bobcats, holy moly. They're teeing off early, holy cow. There's a hit. Left side, Frank the Tank, underhand, and not even close at second. The ball in your eye. Oh, that's a bad pitch to take, but it's strike three. That's three out to leave the bases loaded. There's a shot. Wow. How far would it go? Holy cow. Has it landed yet? My word, 6 nothing Bobcats. Check that man for steroids. Woo. Savior up the first baseline, played by Whoa. Reese over to Deepwall. We're back. And the pitch. Came up from the mine and he was just looking pretty good. Looks at it, strike three. Here we go, Will. And here we go, the count. Strike three. Punch out. Here it is, the 3-2 pitch of John gets. Swing and a miss, Bobcats take it, 6-0. Great pitching performance from Reese, Dewald, and Bailey with the home runs. We'll see you next game for game three. All right, here we go. Game number three, the Bobcats looking to sweep. This would be their first sweep ever in franchise history. Got him. There's a shot, and uh, ladies and gentlemen, if I remember to, I did the call that home run right there. John gets to see the ball well. He finally puts one out. The Bajas have a lead, one nothing here. There's a shot. Oh wow, that thing died. I thought it was gonna be a home run. 
the thing just kind of fell off the table. Base hit for Paul and the Mahads are seeing the ball well now. Wouldn't be surprised to see some runs on the board here. Got him. A great at bat there. Battle the line. Got him. <laughs> We're going into the bottom of the first. Mahads have a lead. One nothing. Grab ball back to Paul. Nice play. Got oh and he missed him. Slides under the throw. Ground ball safe. He stays on the base. Back to back singles for the Cats. <laughs> six, six strikes him out. One away. Got him. Two down. Hey, how do I how do I look in this color? By the way, and I don't think the stripes makes me look good. But throw it around, throw it around, throw it around. Low oh point. Oh, when you think you can make a top ten play because you erased your bad defense the year before. Mm-hmm. Flip to first. Yeah. Hey, to Chris and Jorgi that are watching this and seeing my hitting performance today. Don't be too discouraged. I am actually trying things out today. Now I know to never try anything out ever. Shake that with authority, my friend. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I will say, I've gone to Taco Bell the last two nights. I've been absolutely terrible with the service, my friends. Like, you know, you get there and you're like, I want my, I want my nacho fries and my Doritos Locos, man. And I, you get there and you're like, you're waiting an hour after you're done in the drive-thru. You know what I'm saying? Have you, been, have you been to Taco Bell drive through the last couple days? Ah! Hey, Paul, feels this way. Hey, you ever feel like when you have long hair in the summer and you feel like you have wet seaweed on your head? What? Comment down below if you like Arby's or Lion's Choice better. If you say Arby's or Comment. Oh. What do, you, what do you like better? Arby's. But, but it's, 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 the, cur it's the curly fries, man. It's the curly fries. Okay, I, I get behind the curly fries. What? Yeah, see, I'm going to take that one, and it's going to be a problem. Get there. Yes, more content, baby. Let's go. Hey, John, you'd be great for content is if you hit it to me, and I make an error, and it'd be funny. I'm going to make a prediction today. Bucks are going to win game seven tonight, and then they're going to go on to win the finals. Come on, baby. No! Oh! You, you, you. Oh, rip the boss Oh, my bad. We got your mic. It's fine. He got the out. Oh, to everybody that's going to watch this, go Gators. That's it. 
Ground ball back to Paul. Base hit for Frank. Frank is having an amazing game. <laughs> Got him. 70 miles an hour right there. One away. Three. Got him. 71 on the gun. It's all coming down to Ethan Duol. Twos, yep. Got him. The Bajas pick up a dub. The Bobcats do take the series. Two to one over the Bajas. What a series, a lot of offense. Guys were hitting the ball. Some great pitching as well. Series number two is in the books, folks. All right, Frank Griesbauer, the player of the day today. Uh, big day for you and your team. You guys looked really well. Uh, how does it feel to get back here uh, and play well like you did? Oh, uh, it feels great, you know. We've always played pretty well on this field, so being able to come out and do that again, it's great. Um, Kind of unfortunate that we couldn't get a sweep, losing by such a close game. So hopefully maybe next time we can come out, come out strong, play, play full strength all three games. Absolutely. And uh, one more thing, uh, end of the year, obviously your goal is to win the World Series. What is it going to take with this roster to do it? Um, I think just consistent hitting. Like mm -hmm. In some games we came out, hit the ball well, and then some games we struggled. So I think having solid hitting, um, pitching looks good this year. So hopefully we can keep, keep the bass constant and see if we can get it this year. Series number two in the books, and man, back-to-back -back great series for you guys here at Bowman Yards. Next series is Committee and RGCV. It's going to be a tight one again. Those two teams always going at it. Uh, both teams always look really good. So thank you guys for watching. Merch store in the description. If you want a season five shirt, jerseys, hoodies in the description. Instagram's also in the description. Thank you guys for watching. We will see you in the next one.